Hey guys, I'm about to go for a ride, so I'm gonna keep this short, but I wanna show you how easy it is to install the new Tannis Armor tubeless right here from the bed of my truck. All right, a couple of things before we get started. First, you're gonna want some tubeless specific tires and make sure your rims are tubeless specific as well. These should already be taped and have the valves installed. If you're not sure how to do that, go look it up on YouTube. And then last, you're gonna need some, some tubeless sealant. So the first step of installing the setup is getting that first bead of the tire over your rim. Next step is to put your armor inside the tire with the first lip of the armor over the rim. Try and get the second lip of the armor over the rim as well, but if you can't, it's not the end of the world. The next step is to put the second bead of the tire over the rim, in between the armor and the rim. Now before you get that last lip of tire over the rim, this is a good time that you can pour your sealant into that hole in the tire. Um, if you have a valve core remover and a smaller bottle, you can push the sealant through the valve. But I'm here in the bed of my truck, so we're gonna do it the old fashioned way. Now, if you're having a hard time getting the last lip of tire over the rim, take some tire levers and use it to help pry the tire over the rim. The armor is completely safe with tire levers. You're not gonna hurt the armor. Now that you've gotten this far, both lips of the tire should be on. Now massage the tire and make sure that the armor is centered the whole way around the rim. So now would be the time that if you haven't put sealant in yet, you're gonna to wanna to remove that valve core, squirt your sealant in, put the valve core back in, and you should be all good to go. All right, last step, let's just pump the tire up. The cool thing about the Armor Tubeless setup is that it pushes the sides of your tires out, which makes your bead seat really easy to the point where you don't usually need an air compressor, a floor pump will do just fine. All right, it's all set up and ready to go. Now, just put the tire back on your bike, give it a good spin to make sure the sealant is all mixed around in your tire. All right, that's it. It's all set up and good to go, so I go for a ride. 